What's going on guys, it's SJ Sports, welcome your faces back to a brand new video, we're on number episode 21 now, thank you for all your continued support on this series guys, it's greatly appreciated, if you're new around here make sure you hit that subscribe button, also hit the bell for notifications, and whilst you're at it, you might as well hit a like on the video as well, why not? First bit of action then from this episode, we have our three scouts back. We're starting off with South Africa, not brought us anything good back. That is absolutely shambolic. We are going to reject both of these players because I don't even know why he's wasted his time to bring back these type of players for us. Brazil is next. We have got this guy, uh, Cabrel, looking okay. We are going to actually sign this player to our youth academy. His valuation is £140,000, so he could turn into a decent player. Again, he's five foot nine. Anybody else? Branco, we're going to scout for a further month. Menez, we're going to actually reject. Um, we've got Enrique, 6'6 six, six to 90, age 16, overall of 39 to 55, six foot six, looking like it's going to be a defender. We're going to sign this player up. Finally, we're in England. Two players that don't have faces, so we're not going to uh, do anything with them. Well, we are. We're going to reject them. We're not going to actually promote them because they don't have a face. Ewan Clark is on there as well. Right, them two are poor. Peter Bell, looking okay, is a goalkeeper. We already have good, decent goalkeepers, but... We are going to sign him just to see how he turns out. First game of the episode then, we are away against Stevenish. Stein 11, Cassidy and goal, Morello, Mitrev, Hogan, Perez, Naka, Benitz, Wouters, Kortz, Holmberg and Carter up front. Newton's powering down the right-hand side. Still going, he's shrugged off a challenge. Advantage played and Wheatdale will put it over the bar. The first chance of the game falls to Stevenage. Oh, Hogan's gone sliding in and he's not timed that very well. And it's an early booking for Hogan. Ball played up towards Newton. It's a heavy first touch, but he's still got possession. Knife has gone to close him down. He's found Hines. And Morello goes in with a challenge and Morello has given away a penalty. He was so good against Huddersfield Town. His first involvement in this game has resulted in him giving it away a penalty kick. Oh, wow. Are they taking the piss out of us or what, lads? It's their goalkeeper that's going to take this penalty. Up his steps. He finishes it into the bottom right-hand corner. And the goalkeeper has scored against us. Wow. He must have some decent penalty stats for him to take that penalty. I've never seen that on a career mode. Not in the English leagues anyway. And Stevenage have won a lot. Morello was the guilty part in giving away the penalty. And Stevenage goalkeeper steps up, beats our goalkeeper. Cassidy went the right way. And it's a, to be fair to him, any striker would have been proud of that penalty. Cassidy did get a slight hand on it. It wasn't enough. Stevenage are in front. It's 1-0. Here he is, Carter. Jinx back inside. Gets into the box. Does he know? It's unlucky. We're struggling to break Stevenage down. But we have quality in the side. And it'll definitely come. Here's Courts. Ball up to Holberg, Holberg into Wouters, lovely ball into Carter, good shot, good save by the keeper. And he keeps Stevenage in the game, that's our first real chance of the game. On the 37th minute, Stevenage have defended really well, we struggled to break him down. We broke him down pretty easy in that attack. Kennedy, Narka's trying his hardest to work back. Oh, great challenge by Hogan, he had to get that right. Here is Carter, surely fouled, he's one of the free kick. Narkas wanted to get on with the game early as Holmberg plays it to Wouters. Wouters stabs it through. Carter on the right foot. He goes over the bar on his weaker side. Only two star weak foot for Carter. Couldn't quite keep that one down and it blazes over the bar. Well, that's half time then. It's 1 0 to Stevenage at the break. That early penalty in Stevenage's favour is enough to separate the two sides at the break. Kennedy ball played forward into the feet of Newton. Horrigan, oh no, he's going to be sent off. He timed it horribly wrong. Is he going to go into the referee's book for the second time? He is. And Horgan has got the first red card of the season. Oh, he timed it wrong. He deserved to go. The Stevenage player was through. Look at him standing six foot six tall, towering over players. And he timed that horribly wrong. He's a decent player. And he bundles the Stevenage player over and he walks for that. Then it's gone to go close him down. It's laid off to the edge of the area. Back goes penalty spot for T. We'll finish it off. It's 2-0 to Stevenage. Double day lead on the 52nd minute. We're down to 10 men. We've conceded not long after Hor Horrigan received that red card. Carter. Go on, son. Go on, Carter. Make things happen. Slides it through to Bennett. Bennett then has got no one to aim for in the box. Carter with a powerful header. And Godden makes the save. And that would have got us right back in the game. Morello wins that ball. Bennett is a knacker. Wouters out wide left to 
Perez. Perez into Holmberg. Holmberg lays it off. Wooters lines it up. Short. Oh, my Lord. What a finish by Wooters. That's his second goal of the season. And what a way to get us back in the game in the 58th minute. The goalkeeper was rooted to his spot. I'm not sure. Did it take a deflection on the way through? I don't think it did. Holmberg with a lovely back heel and Wooters with a first time effort. Oh my lord. I think it did take a slight deflection off the Stevenage man. It did off his right knee and that helps it into the back of the net. And it's 2 1 now. Can we find a way back into this game? It's Newton. Still Newton. Yes, Morello times that well. Wooters will pick up the ball. Carter's peeled away and Wooters has found him. Carter beats one challenge. Carter goes past another. Carter then. Still Carter. Carter. Oh, brilliant by Carter. Oh, he just had a little bit too much there. Here's Narka. Up to Harris. Finds Wooters. Wooters back to Narka. Cambridge keeping the ball well. Steven has got bodies behind. Carter. Here's Holmberg. Holmberg works to space. Has the shot. And it's made the, the goalkeeper make the save down to his right hand side. And we're trying to claw our way back into this game. Here's Morello. Into Narka. Into Van Leeuwen. Oh, Van Leeuwen with an ambitious ball. And it's through here to Kennedy. We've pushed bodies forward to get the equaliser. Mitrov has to go and close him down. He did enough to put him off. And Cassidy pushes it behind for a corner kick. Wooters has got an injury as well, lads. But he'll probably be able to run it off. Holmberg stabs it through. Here is Carter. Yes, he's equalised in the 88th minute. It's that man Carter back from injury, back to his goal scoring ways with a lovely finish across the goalkeeper into the back of the net. What a great finish by Carter. And Holmberg is in there as well, involved. Holmberg with two assists. Oh my lord, what a great finish that is by Carter. It's fantastic. The goalkeeper had no chance. We're back on level terms with three minutes remaining. It's 2 2 now. There goes the full-time whistle, it's a point of peace. The 10 men Cambridge battled back from two goals behind to draw level. Frustration by the Stevenage fans. We had 10 men as well for the most of that second half. A great performance attacking wise. Homburg involved in everything. Carter got back, or back to his scoring ways. It's 2-2. Two, two. two players called up to international duty. Homburg and Naka then have been called up by their national sides. They will not be available for the club club from the 5th of September to the 11th of September. Next game of the episode then, it's Cambridge United taking on Lincoln City. Lincoln City run by Curtis, of course. If you don't know who Curtis is, then where have you been? Check, out, check him out in the link in the description below. We've got Cassidy in goal, Morello, Mitrev, Tremblay, Perez. Tremblay comes in for the suspended uh, Horrigan. Uh, Narka, Bennett, Wouters, Courts, Holmberg and Carter up front. Well, we nearly suffered the first defeat of the season against Stevenage. Coming from two goals behind to draw level as Wooters intercepts this early on. Carter, Wooters, looks for the ball. Holmberg beats his man. Holmberg, oh, he's done well. Holmberg, oh, it's a good shot. Carter can't turn it in. Holmberg twisting and turning. Probably turning himself inside out. The defenders didn't know which way he was going. Gets his shot away straight at the keeper. And it's a fast start by us. And Carter couldn't quite turn in the rebound. Oh, Arnold's played this ball through to Aziz. Aziz is in the area. And Cassidy had it covered. Aziz's shot was off target. That's poor. Poor finishing. Into Narka. Up towards Wooters. Wooters then into Carter. Holmberg's looking to go forward. Waits for the run of Wooters. Here he is. Wooters. Oh, it's just gone wide. Hit on his left foot, didn't hit the target. But we've seen Wooters score from that type of range before in the past. And this time it just whistles past that post. Trembler heads away, Bennett helps it on, does he? Yes, he does, gets a bit of luck. Wooters picks up this loose ball. Wooters looking for the runners. Carter, here he is, Carter. Accelerates really well. He's got Holmberg inside to aim for. He decides to cut back inside. Looks for Holmberg. Holmberg looking for the run of Wooters. Back to Holmberg. Lovely football. Oh, and Holmberg was already celebrating before it even hit the back of the net. And the keeper made the save. Has to lay it back to Morello. Morello stabs it through to Wooters. Wooters looks for Carter. Carter then looks for uh, Holmberg. But Carter gets it back. And Carter's shot is saved by Vickers. And we are all over Lincoln City. We just cannot seem to break. We just can't seem to find the back of the net. A long ball four. That's all they've done all game. Morello's there to head away. Finds Narka. A little ball inside to Wooters. Over halfway then for Cambridge. Wooters plays it to Holmberg. Holmberg gives it to Carter. Receives it back off him. Here's Holmberg. Back to Carter. Carter will line it up this time. And he's hit the pose. And Bennett might react. Will he? Oh, he's got his shot horribly wrong. And it's another chance. It's been chance after chance for Cambridge. 
We finally beat the goalkeeper, but then the post comes to save Lincoln, and then Bennett just slices his shot wide of the mark. He should have really taken a touch. Holmberg there again, causing Lincoln nothing but problems. He may not score many goals for us so far, but he's involved in everything. Carter out towards Bennett. Bennett then looks to shoot on his left, and he gets it horribly wrong. Aziz always looking to run the channels. This causes a bit of problems. As Green's here. Green lays back to Aziz. Aziz will shoot, and again, it's a poor effort by him. Straight at Cassidy. There goes the half-time whistle. It was pretty much attack versus defence for pretty much 90% of that first half. And we was unable to find the back of the net. Root just coming close. Carter hitting the post. A couple of saves by the goalkeeper. Remains goalless at the break. Wouters picks up the ball. Now here is Carter. Carter back to Wouters. Wouters stabs it through. Looking for Carter. Oh, I saved again by Vickers. And the goalkeeper of Lincoln are keeping us out. White then in towards Carter. Carter up towards Martin. Martin lays it off. Holmberg. Oh, he smashes it against the bar. Oh, that would have been it. We've done everything right in this game. It's still not over yet. Here is Martin with the shot. His shot's blocked. There goes the full-time whistle in what was an entertaining goalless draw between Cambridge United and Lincoln City. Transfer deadline day is 10 hours left. Going to be no players coming in on our part, but we may actually get some players out, maybe on loan, maybe some deals coming in for our players. You can see we've already sold five players. Well, not sold, but two of them have gone on loan, and here we go. Agreement for Grimsby Town have agreed to pay 460 for Luna. That's interesting. So that's I'm happy with that. So Luna potentially has nine hours to depart the club and talk to Greensby. The offer for Luna has fallen through. Uh, they couldn't agree terms, couldn't Luna and the Greensby Town's representative. So Luna still remains on the books for Cambridge. Transfer deadline day has now finished. We're into the last hour. It's ended for the English clubs. Nothing to tell you guys about. We had a couple of interest in our players, but it wasn't feeable and wasn't suitable to our standards so everyone else stays the same we can still loan out players though when the window has closed player of the month for august then and it's none other than our own player holmberg has won the player of the month award for august next game of the episode then we're at home against crow alexandra in the checker trade trophy i aren't going to play this i'm going to sim this I do have our cup team sheet available to us. That's why I'm doing this sim instead of calendar sim. I want some of the players to get action. The likes of Van Leuven and Boyanov who are on the fringes of the first team. And we do get beat two by two goals to nil. Zeng played against his former club. I remember selling him. I'm sure we sold somebody else as well to Crew Alexandra. But I can't remember um, who it was. But... Yep, Zeng, oh, luckily for us, he didn't get on the score sheet, so that's all good. Final game of the episode then sees us take the trip to Shrewsbury Town. Two changes to tell you guys about. Boyanov comes in and Van Leuven for uh, Holmberg and Naka, who are above away with their international clubs. Uh, Horrigan also comes back into the side as well after serving a one-match ban. Booters fake shot into Van Leuven. Carter will find the run of Bennett, that's a good ball. And Bennett's into the penalty area, and Bennett to put us 1-0 up. It has done, he smashes it into the back of the net. And Bennett has put us 1-0 in front. Lovely football by Cambridge. And the away fans go absolutely crazy behind the goal. The scene, the ball hit the back of the net. And Bennett has finally scored. His finishing can be hit and miss sometimes, as you've probably seen in previous episodes. And he manages to find the back of the net that time. It's 1-0 to us. Plays it through, that's a great ball, is that by Shrewsbury? Mitchell's trying to cut back, it's laid back. Nolan with a shot, Cassidy with a great save, tips it behind for a corner kick. To Courts, Courts just gives it back to Perez and finds Wooters. Wooters then finds Boyanov. Now here is Carter. Oh, referee, have a word. That's surely a booking. That's a definite free kick to Cambridge. And that was disgusting. Carter did him, did him good and proper there. And it's not ever getting a booking. Ref, you need to book him for that. Carter's going to take this free kick then. Up his steps, over the wall, into the keeper's hands. At least it was on target. Not a bad effort by Carter. It's a valid time. Courts laid inside to Wouters. Wouters looks to feed it through to Van Leuven. Wish Courts would have carried on his run. Van Leuven jinx back. Here he is, Courts. In towards Carter. Carter will hold it up. Keep possession. Here's Boyanov. Wouters has peeled away into a bit of space. When he has his dig, his shot is blocked. Boyanov will keep it alive. Wouters hits it again. And it's on target. The goalkeeper makes the save. And that is the last action of that first half. 
It's Rugeby Town nil, Cambridge United one at the break. For the big man up front for Shrewsbury. Here is a runner. Hogan's got close him down, and this finds his shot that smashes the post. Beat Cassidy, and it's gone behind for a goal kick. Booters stabs it through the gap towards Van Leeuwen, who finds Carter. Carter looking to turn, Carter doing his best. Carter's worked the space well and finds the back of the net. Great goal by Carter. The Shrewsbury man stepped off him. And Carter has got the better of him, twisting, turning, and smashes it with his left foot into the back of the net to double our lead on the 57th minute. Maybe three points are in the bag for Cambridge now. Let's take a look at this. Goes one way, goes back the other way, goes back to his favourite side. Really well by Carter. As soon as it left his boots, he had no doubt it was going to find the goal. And it's 2 0 to Cambridge United. Go to Nolan, to the big man up front for Shrewsbury. Go, go, the works it well. The way back in the game, there isn't. Cassidy's there to make the save. Not going to pronounce this guy's name, but the big man will play it back. In towards Bolton. Chance. Hogan's gone in and fouled him. Is it a penalty? It is. Another penalty given away. Oh, no. It's Horrigan that's given it away. Hogan that's given the penalty away he's a bit of a clumsy defender to be fair to him always tries to go and win the ball and he brings down the Shrewsbury man is there away back for Shrewsbury this time the goalkeeper isn't taking the penalty up steps the Shrewsbury attacker Cassidy goes the right way and makes the save White will head it on here is Martin latching onto this Martin doesn't have the pace but he has the strength Martin does well gets his shot away and it's a good save by the Shrewsbury keeper. Was played in by White. Boynov's there. Off the line by Bolton. So unlucky. Wooters. Wooters looks for the run of White. That's a lovely ball forward. Will White get there? He will do. He's played it back into the box. Cat with the header. It's hacked off the line for the second time. Wooters is there. Oh, it's a poor ball. But Courts will pick it up. Oh, and the attack has come to an end. Twice now Shrewsbury have played it off the line. Great header by Carter. Here's Perez, in towards Courts, in towards Wooters, here is Martin, Martin then up towards Carter, Carter's holding it up, looks for the run of Martin, here he is, Martin, oh he's at the post, I'm sorry DK, but Martin's not going to get a goal, he's found his shot, smashed against the post, DK's a big lover of Martin, as we've got a man down injured in the middle, as Shrewsbury looking to attack, and Perez will clean it up for us, there goes the full time whistle, three points for Cambridge on their travels, they win by two goals to nil. Goals from Carter and I can't remember the other one. It was Bennett. There we go. It happened so long ago. It's 2 nil, and we've picked up massive three points. So, boys, episode is coming to an end. Hope you have enjoyed it. We're going to take a look at the league table for now. There are a few teams here that haven't been defeated yet. Yeovil Town sitting second. They haven't been beaten. Us, we haven't been beaten. And Morecambe all the way down in 12. They have played 5 1 1 and drawn Four. Going back to us then, focusing on us, we have drawn three games, we've won two, we've scored eight and we've conceded four and we're on nine points. Thank you so much for watching boys. If you have enjoyed this video, then you guys know what to do. Smash a like video, share this video around with your friends and I'll see you guys on my next video and um, peace out.